I'm back. It's been a while, but I'm back. Hi, I'm Larry Ladowski with Midwest Outdoors, back up in Door County. And the other thing I'm back at is fishing with my buddy, Brett Alexander. And we're fishing for bass right now. We got a little rain this morning. Now we got a little wind. I think we're gonna have a little bit of everything, Brett. Yeah, it's gonna be one of those days, Larry. You and hopefully, know. we'll have a lot of these guys. Yeah! That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a great one. Beautiful little football. And what kind of weather did you bring here, Larry? Eric's got one. We got Eric Van Eyten on the front of the boat. He's tagged into one. I'll tell you what, she's ripping right now, hoping that it settles down because we're out on Lake Michigan and with this wind direction, it can get pretty brutal out here. I'll tell you what, for smallmouth fishing, this is by far my favorite rod though, Larry. I've used a lot of different rods. I've used a villain a lot, but I just upgraded to the premieres and just so much more sensitive. And I love how light they are. And they can handle these bass. They got enough backbone to handle these great big bass. This is a big bass. Here he comes right now. You ready? Got him, Eric. Yeah, that's a good one. And it's not only the rod and reel combination that you want, but you also want to talk about the entire package that you're fishing with. We're fishing with six pound braid and also a six pound fluorocarbon. There's about a five foot six pound fluorocarbon, which is really sensitive so you can feel every tick of the bottom as well as every bite of the fish as well. And it's the entire package, right, Brett, that you want to do. Yeah, you want, you know, you got to have the right rod and reel and you have to have the right line. Um, to go we're with fishing it. gin clear water and it's critical to have that light line so you can cast far and you can feel the bottom at every little tick. Yep. There he is. Yep. We're using these tube jigs, coffee tube jigs. And it's a very slow presentation. I'll show you the way I'm kind of working it. Beautiful fish. Yeah, right on. But the way that's go that thing is working, I'm just kind of slow dragging it and it's hitting the rocks and I'm almost jigging, it's almost giving it a jigging motion as well because I'm reeling, jigging, jigging, real slow jig, jig. And this thing is just kind of hitting off the bottom off those rocks. And that's where these, these fish are ambushing this bait. What they think it is actually, Larry, is they think they're gobies. So it's about the size of the gobies in here. Yep. And the gobies stay real tight to bottom. They like flutter up and down. So and they're feeding off the exactly bottom, right? exactly what yep. these baits look like. That's right. Oh, Larry, hooked up. Just dragging right behind the boat. Nice. Whoa. It's really fun in this crystal clear water, too. Oh, this guy's got a sign oh, yeah, thing on. he's got a mark on his sign. A little mark on him there. He's hooked good. Yeah, that's right. Right in the corner where you want him. Yeah. All right. I'll show you one other thing, how this fluorocarbon really works in this clear water, too. I'm going to cast it out a little bit. And you'll see the braid line. Now you can see the braid line coming through that water. The braid line is right at the tip of my rod now. And that fluorocarbon leader is about five feet after, but it just disappears in that water. And that allows that line to be invisible and that bait to be right on the rocks, just line free. That one hit close. Looks like a good one. Get up there and help him. Woo! Tell everybody what, Sturgeon Bay a while back was rated number one bass fishery by Bass Masters and it's kind of fallen off the radar, not a lot of people talking about it. But I still think we have the best bass fishery in the world. This goes to prove it. I tell you, we've had uh, our bit of weather this morning. As we were coming up from Illinois, we had thunderstorms and it pushed through pretty quick and then that wind came and it was something else. Now it's starting to die down a little bit. The sun's coming out. It's gonna be time to take off the rain gear. Got them right in the teeth. Right in the meaty part. Three times that one whacked it, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Decent fish. Oh, jeez. Got him. Good jump. Nice jump. 
Man, he's always out there too. He took a leap. Seems like these fish are moving up shallower now. Oh man, he's trying to take oh, a yeah, run. That's a good one. That rod tip's just biting. Oh man. Yes! Woo! That is a tank, man. That is! Man! That's a trophy in any waters. I don't yeah, care where you go. That's 21 inch bass, probably five and a quarter. Folks, nice we had a great day fishing on Lake Michigan in Door County. If you want to catch some smallies, how do they get a hold of you? Uh, they can call me at 920-851-4214, or they can look me up on the website at www.alexandersportfishing.com. Well, I want to appreciate, I appreciate you having me out today. It's always fun. Folks, more Midwest Outdoors is right around the corner. Stay tuned. I'm Larry Ladowski. We'll catch you later. I think we're going to go do some walleye fishing. <laughs>